Hello and welcome to today's lesson from the IELTS Coach. Today I am going to show you three more topics for IELTS Speaking Part 2. These topics are likely to be used in 2020, especially the first half of the year. And these topics are going to be for the category of describe an object, describe a thing. I already have videos and topics for describe a person, describe a place, describe an event. Today we will focus on three topics for describe an object. And let's have a look at the first one. Describe a uniform you have worn. So it is a thing, something you can touch and pick up. What did it look like? What did the object look like? What did the uniform look like? We can be specific here with clothing language. So talk about the shirt or the trousers or the jacket or the hat or the gloves as part of a uniform. Even the parts of the clothing, the collar, the buttons, the cuff, the sleeves. Try and be specific there with, in this case, for a uniform. If it's a different type of object, it's going to be more specific vocabulary for that kind of item. When and where you needed this uniform. So again, this is something that comes up quite often in part two, location and time. So when, don't just say one year ago. When one year ago? What month was it? What season? Okay, where, where were you? Why did you need it? Okay, what was it for? Who paid for the uniform? So payment is a common one for objects because most objects you pay for, you buy a gift or you buy an important item. So they want you to talk about money here. If you didn't pay for it, say that you didn't pay for it. Say how much you think it might have cost. It was a cheap uniform, though it didn't cost very much, maybe $20. Or if it was expensive, I had to pay for half and the company paid for half, it cost me $100 to have this uniform for one year. Be specific, give details, not just how much it cost, but who paid for it. And how long did you have it for? Talk about, give extra details there. Explain how you felt about the uniform. People quite often don't like wearing uniforms, so say that if you, don't, if you didn't like it. Or maybe you were proud. I was happy to wear the uniform to represent the company. I was happy to wear the uniform so I didn't have to wear my own clothes or buy other clothes. So that's for describe an object, describe a uniform, specific language for clothing will really help you there. Now let's look at the next one. Describe an item you got that was difficult to use. So it's an item, again, a thing that you can hold or touch. What the item is, it may be a computer, a TV with remote control, a new washing machine. I have a washing machine that's a little bit difficult to figure out. So explain the item, describe it, size, shape, color, okay, what you use it for, why you got that item, why did you get it, was it a gift, or oh, I needed it because my new apartment doesn't have a washing machine, or I need it because my old computer broke, so I needed a new one, why did you get it, how do you use it, now explain a little bit about how you use it, and why it was difficult, okay, I, what do you use it for, how often do you use it, Okay, be specific. Again, it's going to change depending on the object. Okay, how you use a washing machine and how often will be different to how you use a TV. Okay, is the TV just for relaxing or just for watching the news? Is it every day or once a week? How you use it and frequency. Why it was difficult to use. Okay, I've never used a, a new modern washing machine before or someone else usually does my washing, so I don't know how to use these things. Okay, the, it was in a different language. It's okay, the language is not in English, so I couldn't figure it out. Say why it was difficult at first, and that's quite a, a common one. Okay, instructions may not be in your language. So again, we can see some similarities between describe a uniform, describe an item that was difficult. Still, okay, what the item is, still, why it was difficult or how you felt, okay, explain those things. And the last one is not a tangible thing, not something you can pick up and touch, but describe a goal you achieved that you set for yourself. So a goal is still an item, it's a thing, it's a noun. What the goal was. My goal was to lose 20 kilos. And, okay, 
Talk about when you achieved it, what you needed to do, and how you felt. Talk about why you have that goal, how long you had that goal for. Okay, talk about the specifics of that goal, okay, and how it would make you feel. So a little bit abstract here, and this will happen with objects. It could be a tangible object, a uniform, an item that was difficult, a gift you received, or it could be an intangible, something you can't touch, a goal, a website. Okay, you can't really touch a website, but it's, they're still objects. There's still things that you can describe. What do they look like? What was the goal? Describe that goal. It doesn't look like anything, but it does have aims. It does have certain characteristics. So this is probably the least common of the categories, the question types in task two, part two, or speaking, but you should be able to do it and you should practice doing a variety of different object uh, topics. So practice these, write out your answers if that helps you, but most importantly, practice the note taking and practice the speaking out loud for two minutes. Don't just read it or think about it, speak out loud. because That's what you have to do in the exam. Show that you can do that. If you have any comments or questions about these topics or about what to include, leave them below this video. Please like the video and share it with other IELTS students that you know. And subscribe to the channel and click on the notification so that you will be alerted as soon as I make a new video. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your IELTS preparation and I will see you next time.